Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on factorising. On the next two slides I provide the lyrics of a rap song about factorising. Enjoy. And now we move to the next slide which has the next three verses. OK, let's now have a look at the brief lesson. So we're going to look at factorising by looking at these seven examples. Factorising involves the reverse process of removing brackets from a set of algebraic terms. So let's look at some examples. Factorise each of the following. Number 1, 5m plus 10. So here we don't have any brackets. The idea is to change these terms here where brackets are involved. The important thing is to find the HCF that is the highest common factor. That is the highest number or the highest letter or a combination that will divide into both of these terms. So we can see that 5 divides into 5m and into 10. So that's what we put outside the brackets. Then we open this bracket up here and we say 5 times what gives you 5m? It has to be m, because 5 times m is 5m. 5 times what gives you 10? It has to be 2, so 5 twos are 10. So we have now factorised. So that's what factorising, factorising involves. Quite straightforward. So it's the reverse process of removing the brackets. All we do, we just go the other way. The second one. What is the largest number? You can see that it has to be a number because there's no letter here. What's the largest number that divides into 8k and into 12? The answer is 4. Put the 4 outside. 4 times what gives me 8k? 2k. 4 times what gives me 12? 3. So inside the brackets we have 2k plus 3 and that's the answer. The HCF of 45H and 54 is 9. Of course, that's the highest number that divides into both of those. Put 9 outside the brackets. 9 times what gives you 45H? It has to be 5H. 9 times what gives you 54? It has to be 6. That's the answer. Next example. What's the highest term, either a number or a letter or a combination, that divides into both of those? Straight away you can see that it's k. Put the k outside the brackets. k times what gives you 4k? The answer's 4. k times what gives you mk? The answer's m. So that's the answer. Now here, this is a little bit different because we have 4w and 6wp. The HCF is 2W because 2 divides into 4 and into 6 and W divides into each of the terms. So that's why the HCF is 2W. Put the 2W outside. 
2 W times what gives you 4 W? It's 2. 2 W times what gives you 6 W P? 3 P. That's the answer. For the next example, we have those two terms there. The HCF is 5 M. Because 5 divides into 15 and into 20, and M divides into M squared and into M. Put 5M outside. 5 times what gives you 15M squared? 3M. 5 times what gives you 20M? 4. That's the answer. And finally, we have those three terms which have numbers and letters. So you can see that the HCF is going to be a number and a letter. So you have 8, 16 and 12. 4 divides into those three. You've got k to the fifth, k to the fourth, and k cubed. k cubed divides into all of those. So the HCF is 4k cubed. Put 4k cubed on the outside, and you can see straight away that these are the terms that go on the inside of the brackets. Of course, when you multiply each of these through, you end up with those set of terms there. So this video has introduced a rap song about factorising and we've also seen seven examples which tells us how to factorise different expressions that have been presented to us. So Maths with Jacob has introduced a rap song on factorising and in that way we've attempted to integrate Mathematics, English and Music.